Welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, we would be simulating the narrow band pass filter using the KiCad tool. Before going into this tutorial, I request you to like, share, subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Now, double click on narrow band pass filter and the schematic window appears. Now click on place symbol and place this on the schematic window. Now type LM741 the operational amplifier which we would be using for this design. Place this particular op amp on the schematic window right click on properties edit property define the reference as u1 and click aspect as mirror around x-axis select the model we have to define the lm741 model file for this particular simulation type as subcircuit alternate node sequence as 3 2 7 4 6 and click OK. Now for this narrow band pass filter we have to place four resistor component. So place the cursor on the schematic window and select the resistor R1 from the library and now click on properties edit property define this reference as R1 and define the value as 60 kilo ohm and select the orientation as plus 90 and click OK. Now we have to place the resistor R2, R3 and R4. So select the resistor and place this particular resistor on the schematic window. Right click, select properties edit property define the reference as r2 and define the value as 120 kilo ohm select the orientation as plus 90 similarly place the resistor r3 across the terminal number 7 and Click on properties, edit property, define the reference as R3 and define the value as 120 kilo ohm. Similarly, place the resistor value R4, that is select the resistor, place the resistor, go to properties, edit property, define the reference as R4 and define the value as 130 kilo ohm and click OK. Now we have to place the capacitor for this particular circuit design. So place the cursor on the schematic window and from the library select or type PSPICE and click on the capacitor symbol place this particular capacitor symbol right click select properties edit property define the reference as c1 and define the value as 0.04 microfarad and select the orientation as plus 90 now right click and click on duplicate we can replicate the same capacitor so right click on capacitor Click on properties, edit property, define the reference as C2. Now we have to place the voltage source. The voltage source as an input voltage source and also the voltage source in order to power the LM741. So from the library type PSPICE and select the voltage source symbol for simulation purpose. Place three different voltage source as shown in this tutorial.
Now we must place the ground connection for all the voltage source. So click on ground and place the ground connection across the terminal 2 of all the voltage source. Next place the ground connection across the resistor number R4 and also place the ground connection across the resistor number R3. Now click on wire and connect the resistor R1 to the capacitor C1 and connect the resistor R4 to the resistor R1 and in between the capacitor C1. Now connect the terminal number 3 of op amp to resistor R3 and connect the capacitor C2 to the resistor R1 and in between capacitor C1. Connect the terminal 2 of capacitor C1 to terminal 2 of op amp. Connect the resistor R2 between the capacitor and the terminal 2 of op amp and connect the output of capacitor to resistor R2 and capacitor C2 to the resistor R2 and the output of op amp. Next we must place the global label so place this particular label V in across the resistor R1 and place the global label VEE -E across the terminal number 4 and place the label VCC across the terminal numbers 7. Similarly place the global label VCC across the voltage source and place the label VEE across the voltage source. Similarly place the third label V in across the voltage source. Now click on wire and make all the connections of global label to the voltage source as well as to the op amp and the resistor value as shown in this tutorial. Now click on no connection and place no connection across the terminal number 1 and terminal number 5. Next right click on the voltage source click on property edit property define the reference as VCC define the value as 0 click on edit spice model define the DC voltage as 12 volt right click on property edit property define the reference as VEE and define the value as 0. Click on edit spice model. Define the DC as minus 12 volt. Now right click on properties edit properties. Define the reference as V in and define the value as 0. Click on edit spice model. Now select the sinusoidal and we have to define the initial DC offset amplitude and frequency. So DC offset would be 0, amplitude would be 1 volts and the frequency will be 1 kilohertz and click OK. Next we have to define the syntax for the transient analysis. So click on graphic text and place the following text that is dot AC decade number of points as 100 starting frequency is 1 up till 3 kilohertz so we are performing the AC analysis for this particular circuit we can also perform the transient and the AC analysis so now click on probe and place the probe across the output of op amp so you can see the magnitude and the face of narrow bandpass 
fill the circuit. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.